Hello everyone and welcome back to Two Left Thumbs. My name is Graham and today I'm going to be taking a look at Nuclear Throne. This is a game developed by Vlam Beer. They've also worked on games like the mobile app Ridiculous Fishing and the game Loft Rousers on Steam. I've been pretty excited to check out this game for quite some time. I'm a big fan of games with roguelike elements like Binding of Isaac, uh, Rogue Legacy, or even Spelunky. This game was actually originally called Wasteland Kings and it was made as a part of a game jam and I played that like over a year ago so it's been quite a while but I know roughly what to expect from this game. For those of you who haven't watched uh, one of these first impressions videos before, what I'm going to do is I'm going to play the game for roughly half an hour and get a feel for things. I'll share my thoughts on the game throughout and then at the end I'll uh, give my final thoughts on everything. <laughs> right mouse button seems to be these special abilities. Maybe it's a role for everyone. Oh, they added daily and weekly challenges. That's pretty cool. It's kind of similar to what uh, Binding of Isaac did. This is uh, like totally the same as Wasteland Kings. They even reused a lot of like the, the art and graphics and stuff carried over from that original game. Really, they must have just built on that. It's not really a, a re-envisioning, which I'm okay with because even that short little game jam game I still played for like at least an hour. Oh, I didn't get the chest. Shit. Oh, screwdriver. I got a screwdriver right now. <laughs> Holy shit. Okay, it seems like this game has the capacity to get kind of bullet hell-y going on. I usually don't do very well in like full-on bullet hell scenarios. Oh fuck, I... I didn't realize I had to be like keeping track of my ammo. Luckily it seems to not be in short supply. I really like the dev model of this game. They were doing like weekly updates and they would they would stream some of the updates and there was like a lot of community feedback. I really respect the way they developed this game. Oh I get to choose a mutation now. I'm gonna go with slower bullets because I <laughs> suck at bullet hell. The first time I played The Binding of Isaac I like didn't even make it past basement floor one. Oh, oh wait. I was gonna say this game seems like it's a little bit more forgiving off the bat, but now all of a sudden I got this boss I gotta deal with. Oh, I got him! What a pushover! The way they uh like didn't interrupt the game. He's just here as part of the level was sweet. I like that a lot. It's not like a separate room or level or anything you enter, he's just there in the level. <laughs> hey, I already unlocked uh, the next character. I'm great at this game. I'm scared to pick up the grenade launcher because I want to I wanna have some room to experiment with it before I grab that. Holy shit, I am for sure going to kill myself with this. Oh. Okay, well apparently I melted myself. <laughs> That's cool. Unlocked a character because of it. <laughs> I'm gonna try melting. He seems gross and cool. I feel like the uh, the pickup radius is very forgiving. I like that. I don't like I don't like committing a ton of time running around picking up a bunch of shit. Crossbow. Oh shit! It seems really strong. <laughs> How is the game going to give me better accuracy? It's not like it's going to make me a better shooter. Oh. Okay then, that was a quick death. This game is very fast paced. Cool music. Even just like the menus and stuff are fast. I mean, I'm going to do a lot of comparisons to Isaac here because I've sunk like hundreds of hours into that series. But I feel like the the menus in Isaac have like this slow calmness to them. Everything in this game is fast and frantic. I just really recently started uh, using Game Maker. I'm not really much of a programmer or anything, but it blows my mind to think that this was made in made in Game Maker. Oh, I got a fucking sweet laser beam now. Oh fuck, <laughs> I forgot about this guy. I feel like he didn't surprise me quite as much the first time around. That's, I didn't I didn't notice the first time around that he burst out of the wall. I'll have to <laughs> review and see if that's what happened. Shit. Alright, I guess the laser gun's not very good for fighting Big Bandit. Well, you're that or I just suck at this. Co-op. Can you play this game with controllers? You definitely can't do uh, 
Can't do two with the keyboard. Ooh, I forgot to play around with people's like uh, right click abilities. Disc gun, that sounds cool. Oh, I just realized how low of health I am. Sh shit. Oh, can I hurt myself with those discs? I think I definitely killed myself with that disc. I don't seem to have energy or anything that I need to worry about consuming by rolling. Oh, this machine gun sounds heavy. Shotgun, this seems more like what I need. I do wish that this game had health bars for bosses. Oh, he fucked me up. There's no grace period where, like, after you get hit, you can't get hit again for a second? Oh, I didn't get to... Oh, I missed out on a bunch of shit there. The end level vortex kind of sucks you in. You actually have to, like, avoid it. Prevents death once and recharge at full HP in the next area. Yes, I would, <laughs> I would think I need that. I haven't proven myself to be very... Very great at surviving in this game. Oh fuck, don't burst out of the wall right next to me, big bandit. Oh god. Now I'm just stuck using this dinky ass resolver. Oh, I wish I hadn't picked up both those health packets at the same time. Oh wait, now, now all of a sudden bullets are a concern. Yeah, I made it to 2-1. Oh my god, I am not going to last though. I'm pretty sure Wasteland Kings was just that first area. Here, we, here now all of a sudden we have like uh, the sewers. I really gotta switch weapons next time I pick up ammo. Shit. Or I'll just kill myself with another desk. You thought you could hide behind that cactus? What an idiot. I'll try not to finish a level until I've like got everything I want out of it. I know the developers have a cool blog somewhere uh, from the game jam where they talk about how they coded these like randomly generated levels and stuff. It's a, even as like a non-programmer, it's a pretty cool read. Even if you don't care about this game, you're like a good developer to support because they do some cool stuff for the indie game scene. Back when they made Ridiculous Fishing, I think it got cloned like a lot and they, they considered quitting development of the game, but they ended up just kind of like taking some good life lessons from it and they put together a series of talks where they talk about cloning games and why it's like really hurting the game industry and stuff. They're really cool guys. Oh, Super Crate Box. I think that's another thing that these guys did. <laughs> oh my fuck, the Melt guy only has two health? Oh, it does burst fire. Oh! That's how Corpse Explode works. Right click, Corpse Explodes. That's fucking sweet. Oh. <laughs> Didn't get much of a chance to try it out though. I should probably stick to Crystal. This guy's got a lot of HP. Ooh, and I can shield. What happens if I shield? That's cool. How often can I do that? Maybe I'll just do a sweet melee run. Oh, I need a wrench. Then I'll do my do a Bioshock run. I know there's like a lot of weapons in this game. I wonder if you can like unlock more. Is this the third level? Am I gonna have the big bandage pop out on me soon? I don't remember. Oh yeah, there he is. I think I should take him on with my fucking <laughs> with my screwdriver. Man, he does too much damage. Fuck that guy. How did I do so well the first time? I love the art style in Vlambeer games. Just like all of them. They're always they always have such a cool style. This one is most reminiscent of their Super Crate Box style. Yes! Bioshock! Oh, that's not gonna last very long, is it? <sighs> Better go grenade launcher and wrench. Unstoppable combo. There is a pretty long ways to go before you reach the nuclear throne. Son of a fuck. Fuck, melting's the worst. Maybe I should try this daily run. I think I'm ready for it. 
I assume that stuff just under my ammo is like measurements of my stats. Kind of how I've like evolved my character so far. I haven't been paying a lot of attention to it though. Hey, this is going pretty well for me. All these upgrades show characters that I've unlocked, so I wonder if when I unlock more characters, if I get more potential mutations. Recycling ammo, that seems like that'll be really useful <laughs> for these uh, weapons I got right now. Oh no, 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 no! God, you fucked me up. Yes! I didn't want to look like a total chump doing a daily run. Only a mild chump at most, please. Full HP and ammo? Yes, please. That'll really help push me through this. Hey, I'm glad I made it to the sewer on both my first and last attempt at this. The sewers are a lot more tightly packed. Oh fuck, someone else has a shotgun. Going into this, I really thought the strategy of this game was just like Hotline Miami, just running their guns blazing. Doesn't seem to work out too great. Splinter Gun, I get to try another new one. Is this just like a really fucking hardcore crossbow? Oh, it's like a shotgun crossbow. Well, that's just amazing. Oh, no, 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 no. No, I want that ammo. <laughs> no. I only got some of it. Well, I like the kill counter between levels. Hey, I like I left the uh, I left the sewers already. Oh, I like these crow enemies. They're cool. I'm really glad I got to show you guys more of this game. Oh my God! They fly at me. Come on, I gotta get that health. Oh, I see. Those things under my name are my different ammo types. Oh no! I didn't see that son of a bitch. Ah. Oh. Back. I did not reach the nuclear throne. I got killed by that sneaky son of a bitch. Look at him with his mask pulled over his entire torso. Fuck him. 613 on the day? That sounds pretty good. <laughs> I don't know how many people are doing daily runs. I beat all my friends though. Take a quick look at my stats. Uh, five out of a dozen characters unlocked. That's quite a few. Oh wow, there's different things you can unlock for different characters. Okay, everyone seems to have the same. The game is fast, unforgiving, very difficult, rewarding, uh, incredibly high replay value. Unless you're like super pro at the game, runs of it are very quick, so you can easily just kill like 10 minutes at a time with this game. It's cool that it has co-op, it's pretty sweet that it does daily runs, so there's a lot to mess around with this game. You know, being randomly generated, you can just come back to it endlessly, so that's always a big plus. Being a big fan of roguelikes, I have tried a lot of them. This one I can say is like truly unique, which is it's really becoming harder and harder to say these days. So having this like fast-paced shooter, roguelike, game is is awesome it's it's something i haven't i don't know anything else quite like it it's like hotline miami had a baby with binding of isaac it's the best comparison i can come up with i totally recommend it it's an awesome game by an awesome dev worth checking out uh if you guys enjoyed this summary please check out more of the first impressions videos below or if you feel like watching me and someone else on the channel play through a game more fully you can check out some of our let's plays so thanks for tuning in and I hope to see you again soon.